five of Vlogmas. I am so happy and relieved I made it through the first week. It has been such a busy week around here, filming and editing every day and getting used to that again, and Camden's birthday, which was really, really nice. He's very happy and um, he doesn't really like to be on the videos too much, so I totally respect that. And we did not film when we surprised him with the hermit crabs yesterday, but he loves them and they are doing well. They're so cute. He's really happy. So I will try to put some footage of the crabs in when I can, but they're nocturnal and um, they came out super late last night. I went to check on them a few times and I could see them, but I don't really want to disturb them too much just yet because I think they're getting used to their habitat. And if we put a light on, they kind of retreat again. So we love them. They're so cute. As for me, it's the weekend. It's been a really busy week and I am kind of walking around in circles today trying to figure out what to do because I think I've been go, 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 go for like the last six weeks that now that things are kind of calming down, I don't know what to do with myself and I have to readjust again. This always happens to me after shop updates, especially because I did two back-to-back -back ones. I have been sewing and pressing and posting and shipping and all of that stuff for a solid four or six weeks. And whenever I do that, I kind of push my normal routines. They get shifted a little bit. And um, I think now I'm just trying to get back into my groove and back into my normal routines, which is hard because I usually clean and do laundry and all that stuff Sunday, Monday, sometimes Monday, Tuesday. Um, but I feel like I should be doing it now because I'm a little behind, but that's okay. I'm actually not going to clean today. I'm gonna try to just give my brain a rest after this really busy week. I think I'm going to do my nails and pamper my hands a little bit because they are in such bad shape. I've been so hard on them lately. They, just with all the sewing, they're really dry and I keep cutting and burning myself in the kitchen. I don't know if it's just because I've been in a rush and I'm not really thinking clearly, but yeah, I think I'm gonna paint my nails, pamper myself a little bit, get my knitting out, maybe do some of that this afternoon with a soccer game and then some Christmas movies. And I think that's it. I think I am just really going to relax today and get my mind ready for the week ahead, which is not super busy, but I just want to get back into my routines. I also have some vlogmases to catch up on. I am really loving them. They are such a treat in December. I love watching a lot of them. It's been hard to keep up. So usually there's one or two that I can keep up with pretty much daily. And um, and then I will, every few days, I'll catch up on some of my other favorites and watch a few at once. I will share some of them um, as I go. I'm not going to give one big list because I know I will forget someone and I will feel really bad because there are so many good ones and I don't want to leave anyone out. So I think for today, I'm going to share three that um, I did watch this morning. And so they come to mind right away. So I've been watching Christina from Chelsea Yarns. She's doing Vlogmas this year, which is so much fun. I love watching what her and Red Bank Mike are up to. But she is on a new channel, so um, if you haven't been able to see them, because I did have someone message me about that, it's because she's created a new channel for um, her Vlogmas. So I think it's just called Chelsea Yarns, and they are really fun. She's posting every day. I am also watching Amy all the time from Taylorist Studios. She is the maker and dyer um, with her sister from Dandelion and Dogwood. So um, hers are also wonderful. I love seeing what her and Jack are up to. And I've also been watching Maria from Woolen Forest. She is one of my favorite vlogs to watch. I just, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, 
If you watch her, you probably know, but if you don't, I think you should because they're not super long and she just gives you snippets into her really calm and beautiful days. She sometimes shows recipes and um, whatever she's knitting on. And my favorite parts of her vlogs are actually at the end of the night when her and her husband have a cup of tea and they are either both knitting or flipping through books or something like that. So. Those are three that I will mention right now, but I'm going to try to continue to mention them because there are so many, so many good ones. And I hope you guys are enjoying lots of them too. So I think I'm going to join the gang downstairs. I can hear them laughing. And I was trying to actually film Glenn this morning because he was in the shower and he plays music in there. He has a speaker and he was, he loves show tunes. And one of his favorites is Les Mis, and so he was singing Les Mis songs in the shower. It was quite entertaining, but I couldn't really get much of it. I'm hoping I can do that. And also, I've been getting so many sweet comments about Glenn. He's definitely a character, and I will share him when I can, but he's usually really busy with work, and um, his little things are so quick that I never really have my camera going, but I thought I would share a story about him because I'm telling you, he is a character. And if you know him in real life, you know this. And um, his name is Glenn and it's with one N. And he's so funny. He gets really annoyed, not upset. So I know lots of people have used his name in the comments with two N's. Don't worry about it. Please do not worry. and don't be offended, but he gets annoyed that people add an end to his name. And this is the type of person he is. He told James and I a few months ago that when he's at work and people email him and they add an N into the body, into his name in the body of the email, when he replies, he will actually add Whatever the last letter of their name is, he will add the extra letter as payback. That's who Glenn is. So please do not feel the need to apologize for adding an N. It's not a big deal. We laugh about it all the time. And sometimes we'll even add one on his name just to bug him. But that is who Glenn is. He will add, like if your name is um, James, he will spell it with an extra S at the end. Or Camden, he would put two N's at the end just to give you a little, a little payback. So that is just a little story to let you know who our Glenn really is. So I'm going to go and join those characters downstairs. I can hear them. I think they're watching um, the uh, soccer game. I don't know if they're watching the Premier League, but that's what James is really into. And I'm going to go join them and try not to reorganize a closet and clean up my basement because that's on my list this month. I have a piece of furniture I want to refinish. I have the basement to clean. There's a lot to do. So you know what? I'm not going to do any of it today. I'm going to go and join my family and paint my nails. I'm about to head downstairs and join the boys, but I thought I would grab my nail polish and do it down there. And so I thought maybe I should share it with you because I've had a couple of questions about the color I've been wearing this last few days. And I know I've shared this brand in a recent vlog that I did. Um, I can't really remember when. And I had a discount code and I'm going to put it in the description box below. I can't remember how much it was for right now. That's my memory for you. But the brand is London Town and I'm really loving it. It lasts longer than any other polish I have tried and it's just really nice. They've got great colors. And so I'm gonna take the top and base coat with me. And this is the color that I've been wearing all week. It's really pretty. It's called Afternoon Tea. So that's what I was wearing. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's called Bell in Time can't see that one there but it's just a really really dark dark kind of burgundy black kind of color love that but I also love this and I'm wondering if I want to do this today I'm not too sure 
This one is called Chivy Along, but I will put um, the discount code down below and a link to their site because I would highly recommend them if you are looking for really good colors and polishes that last. They last me a good while and I'm really hard on my hands.